we lost uh, 11 employees who uh, worked in the World Trade Center. Uh, as you can imagine, it was emotionally gut-wrenching. I was actually not in our building. I was in Salt Lake City, and it was a surreal experience. I'd got up early in the morning to have a conference call with our people, and I had the TV on. I didn't have the sound on. And I had the team that was meeting in the conference room right across the street from the World Trade Center. So instantaneously, I heard the screams on the phone and the plane going in. God. And our employees were on that floor that was hit. They were the first ones that perished. So you can imagine the emotion in, uh, in the room, the emotion that I felt personally. And what I said to the group uh, at that time was, first, uh, we have to evacuate the building. And you had to take everyone out of Battery Park. That's right. Is that process in place? Fortunately, we had had a dry run that was just fortuitous uh, several months ago. Uh, and that went flawlessly. Uh, the, the second was to make sure that we had a way to communicate and identify all the employees uh, who were operating in the tri-state area because we had people coming into work who were impacted, and so we set up that process. The third thing uh, that I said to, the, to my team and my leadership team, uh, which everyone knows is a quote that I really try to follow every day, and it comes from Napoleon, that the role of a leader is to define reality and to give hope. 